We've got some major news on John Bernthal coming back as the Punisher, Charlie Cox returning as Daredevil, and Kristen Ritter returning as Jessica Jones, as well as when and how some of them will first appear. We've got quite a bit of information, so make sure to stick around to the end for all the details. Right. When Daredevil premiered on Netflix in 2015, fans were ecstatic to finally get an interpretation of The Man Without Fear. Say what you will about the 2003 Daredevil film starring Ben Affleck, fans were excited to see a more realistic, down-to-earth Matt Murdock, especially after the mega-success of the MCU films. The now legendary lore of Marvel Television vs. the MCU film division wasn't well known at the time, but one of the things that they got right was the casting. Charlie Cox as Daredevil, Vincent D'Onofrio as the Kingpin, Kristen Ritter as Jessica Jones, Mike Coulter as Luke Cage. We could go on, but we'll stop before we get to Iron Fist. <laughs> Sorry, Finn. When all the Marvel series ended on Netflix, Kevin Feige and company had to wait for the contractual time allotted to revisit these characters and perhaps reintroduce them into the MCU. Well, last year, all the rights for the Marvel characters from Netflix shows reverted back to Marvel. And even before then, fans had been clamoring to see Charlie Cox and the Netflix gang fight alongside our MCU heroes. Is that everyone? What you wanted more? It seems as though every week we read a new rumor of one of these actors coming back in the latest MCU film. We should know. We've reported on a lot of them. Well, fear not. Our inside source has shed some light on this situation and we really like what we're hearing. This sounds all very promising and is the closest concrete evidence we've heard of the Netflix actors coming into the fold of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We're very pumped about this news and if you are too, we'd appreciate it if you'd give us a like, hit that subscribe button and quack that notification quack. bell. As you can tell, we're not one of those places that puts scoops out left, right and centre. We value our sources completely and even though we get tips and information basically every day, we only run with sources we completely trust. Right, let's bare bones this now and not give you guys any fluff. Charlie Cox, John Bernthal and Kristen Ritter have all been in negotiations to appear in multiple MCU projects. The word around the Marvel camp is that John Bernthal really wants to play the Punisher again, but has been negotiating hard on the contract. These things take time, especially when actors have things set in their mind, like more money. And who's to blame them? These properties make bazillions of dollars. Right, the farthest along of all these projects is a Punisher series. Yes, they're developing a series for The Punisher and desperately negotiating to have John Bernthal come back to play Frank Castle. We've been told that whether the series will be on Hulu or on Disney Plus Star is yet to be determined. They're still figuring all that out at the moment. The source indicated that they've known about this for quite a few months now and things are really starting to gear up in development. They didn't want to mention anything to us until there was some concrete evidence and that it was actually really, really happening. And we love that. That's quite a bit of information for all of us to process, but we're not stopping there. So hold on to your butts as we have a lot more details on the Punisher and Daredevil. Just do us a favor and hit that like, subscribe and that bell icon for us so we can keep dishing out all this stuff. And if you haven't, make sure to check out our interview with Jeremy Webb, director of Netflix's The Punisher, Umbrella Academy and more. Right, there's a script for The Punisher already. Yes, it's that far along. Oh yeah, and we do have some information about the script. I mean, no big deal. To quote the source, It sounds f badass. It's looking like it'll be pretty violent. Like the Netflix show. I think it'll be the MCU's most violent show yet. It won't be a continuation from the previous show though. It sounds as though it'll be a new start. Probably an alternate timeline. They had some more details, but let's break down what we just heard. First, it won't be a continuation of the Netflix series, which was one of the theories that fans had for a while now, mainly because Kevin Feige likes to put his own spin on characters and keep them in line with what he has planned for the MCU. So this indicates highly that the Netflix properties will be starting afresh at the MCU, albeit with the original actors, once negotiations are complete, that is. Secondly, they stated it'll probably be in an alternate timeline. If there ever was a time to do that, it would be now. With the MCU diving heavily into multiverse territory, this is their chance to grab all the fan favorite properties and bring them into the MCU fold. Big multiverse events in the comics have reset continuity and timelines for decades now, so why not in the films? It's been a great technique for Marvel Publishing to get their characters and storylines in order to attract and let new readers jump in, with a few caveats, looking at you X-Men. So why not do the same for films and television? Kevin Feige has used the blueprints of what works and what doesn't work from the decades of Marvel Comics. Him using the multiverse to get all his cards in order definitely makes sense. 
It also seems like DC Films is trying to do the same thing, however sloppily, but I digress. Right, back to the Punisher series with John Bernthal. The source went on to say that it sounds like it's going to be a hard R, so really violent and gory. They also said, and this has us really excited, that Frank Castle will be kind of a villain at the start and he'll be on the run. That's a great concept and makes a lot of sense for the mob killing vigilante. What's also cool is that the source said it'll also have western vibes. They said think of Unforgiven by Clint Eastwood. To tie up John Bernthal, Charlie Cox and Kristen Ritter coming back into the MCU, our source had to say this. Just know that Bernthal, Cox and Ritter are pretty much dead certs for the MCU and might be involved in multiple shows and turn up, maybe, in some of the movies. And this brings us to another piece of info they revealed. It looks like Marvel is looking to introduce the Punisher in the Moon Knight series. To quote the source, like a cameo or something. That seems like a great way to introduce Frank Castle into the MCU. Moon Knight seems like it'll be a somewhat grounded, dark and violent miniseries. The perfect place for the Punisher's skull to show up in. We also asked our source about Charlie Cox showing up in Spider-Man No Way Home. Before we get into this last little bit of information, we will ask you if you've enjoyed this video so far to give us a like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and quack that notification bell. It'll really help us with the algorithm gods over at YouTube. Right, when we asked about Charlie Cox appearing in Spider-Man No Way Home, our source said that they weren't really sure about that. It's all Sony right now and they're taking bets and our source thinks that Cox will appear in Spider-Man No Way Home. So there you have it. John Bernthal, Charlie Cox and Kristen Ritter are deep in negotiations to premiere in multiple MCU projects and it's pretty much a done deal. There's a script for the Punisher series and it'll be a hard R, being violent and gory with Western vibes. The Punisher will be on the run, most likely a villain at the start, and he may be introduced in the Moon Knight series as a cameo. And Charlie Cox appearing in Spider-Man No Way Home is a good bet, as it was before. But our source has stated that that has everything to do with Sony at the moment. This is all exciting news, and it's great to finally get some details on these upcoming projects instead of just conjecture. We'd love to hear your thoughts on all of this, so do leave us a comment below. We do read all of them. Here at Small Screen, we tend to have two or three videos every week on Marvel, DC, and all things film. So if that's up your alley, hit that like and subscribe button and quack that notification bell. We work hard to earn your sacrifice to the algorithm gods. This has been Edward Lauder on voice and that James guy on edits for Small Screen. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.